Looking eastward into Ceylon, Saskatchewan this July 24th, 2016. A lovely evening about 9.30 and if you need official confirmation. Looking northeast up Main Street into Ceylon, Saskatchewan this January the 30th, 2016. It's 10.30 and it's darn nippy. There used to be a gas station on the corner of Highway 6 here. In Essel, I believe. Regina is due north, 110 kilometers. The international boundary in Montana is 50 kilometers behind us to the south. Still on Main Street, the auditorium of the former school. Now, oh, this is the Prairie Pride Community Center. The kids commute to Radville now, 23. K due east down Highway 337. And the rec center, the arena. And the village offices and the offices of the RM of the Gap, number 39. The village was incorporated on September 26, 1911. Peak population of Salon was reached in 1956 with 355 folks. In 2011, it's clawed its way back to 99 people. Possibly the most exciting thing to occur in Salon happened on this corner. On September 27, 1922, an armed thieves blew up the Bank of Montreal's vault and escaped in a fast car never to be seen again. Roman Catholic Church of the Mission of St. Joseph on First Avenue West here. The first church was built between 1913 and 1917 and it burned in 1951 and that's its replacement. And look at Southwest down Main Street. Not much going on in Salon these days. There used to be a general store or two, a butchers, a hardware stores, a cafe, livery stables, a newspaper, a drug store which spectacularly burned, dress shops, boarding houses, hotel, implement dealers. Down there is the United Church, built in 1918, possibly a Methodist church. and the Northwest Hotel. Second building to stand on this site. First one was completed and opened on Christmas Eve of 1911 and the next day it burned to the ground. The Crofton family rebuilt it and uh, was reputedly leased by the Bronfman smuggling enterprises during Prohibition. You can imagine it with a veranda along the front with a balcony on top of that, the full length of the west side of the building. It's quite the edifice back in the day. Well, I don't think you can get gasoline in this town anymore. Here is the United Church. Closer view of it. Down on First Street south. Farther south there was a third church, possibly the Presbyterian church. That looks like an old school, but it may well have been. Back on Main Street, Canadian Northern laid its rails through here in 1910, opened the line in July 1911 built a station right here in the corner at mile 15.7 from Radville and what Canadian National called its Ben Goffs up to Willow Bunch, 71.5 miles, it was torn down in 1976. Elevators stood right in here. The first one up was Western Canada Flour Mills. In 1912 it collapsed in 1953 and was rebuilt by Parrish and Heimbecker and closed by United Grain Growers in 1997. There's the Cenotaph. Garner Brothers, 
crane built in 1913, Sasquap elevator in 1913 as well, Union grain built in 1927, Saskatchewan wheat pool in 1956, it was the last one closed in 2000, and they were all to the east of the Parish and Heimbecker building, which was at the head of Main Street. Post Office of Aldred was opened by J.A. Aldred July 1st, 1907 to serve the homesteaders who began arriving in 1905. McPhee's, the and Allensons. Aldred closed his post office on June 30th, 1911. This is looking north of the railway grade where the original community sprung up. When Canadian Northern laid out the town site in 1911, the buildings were skidded to the new site. Somewhat south of town on Highway 6. F.A. Shoup opened the post office of Salon Station on July the 1st, 1911, so named because there was apparently a Ceylon in Ontario. The name was changed on July 24th, 1957 to Salon. Not sure what happened to Salon, Ontario. As we've seen, all the elevators are gone. The last one was closed by Saskatchewan Heat Pool in 2000. Now Salon Pulse Pluses and Borderline Feeders through the agricultural community surrounding Salon, Saskatchewan.